welcome back to Whiskey with Ian. I'm Eric. Now, I think it's time for a beer. So, first beer of the night. I figured let's try another one out of the world class collection. Alrighty, so let's see what we get, guys. Alright, let's just. Let's just grab one. There we go. What is it? All right. So, craft beer review number eighty-four. We have Hollandia. All righties. I never tried this before. Hollandia Premium since seventeen fifty-eight. Well, it looks authentic because you know how you can tell the traditional-looking family crest. All righties. So let's have a little read. Um, Holland imported. So from Holland, ingredients, water, barley, malt, glucose syrup, hop extract. Contains gluten. Interesting. Uh, www.hollandbeer.com imported by Pinnacle Drinks. Um, Bavaria Brewery. I really have not done any research about this, so there you go, Bavaria Brewery. Anyways, 4.7%, which is 1.2 standard drinks, comes in a 330ml can, I mean, bottle. Alright guys, so, why am I starting to think that, are these budget beers that have just been put into this box and sold for $35 at Dan Murphy's? Alright, now I need... Oh, not saying that it's not interesting to try these different beers out, because otherwise you might not even go buy them to try, right? So, let's just get right into it. I'm just curious of how this is. I'm trying to think, have we had beers from Holland? Actually, Heineken. I can barely even remember what a Heineken tastes like. But, let's give this a try, eh? It says uh, 0723, so it's not expired, it's still fresh. That was really a weak, there was no psk in that. I'm kind of worried about the carbonation. Here we go, let's see how it looks, guys. Well, looks really clear, looks really light in color. Get it all in there. Eh? Hollandia Premium, 4.7%. That is a fluffy white head, probably a little bit over one finger. That is just your typical lager, fluffy white head, guys. But the carbonation's pretty slow. Very clear, looks like liquid piss in a glass. Nah, it looks good, guys. Um, all about the nose, all about the taste. Let's get right into it. Mm. Well, that actually surprised me. There's actually like a multi aspect to this, so. Uh, slight lemon. You know, you know what this actually reminds me of on the nose? Let me know if you guys do. Corona with lemon. Very interesting. Anyways, let's just get right into it. All right, here we go. Trying this Hollandia. Cheers, everyone. Beer number five out of the beer collection of 12. Let's go. Cheers, everyone. Well, it's not really bitter on the taste. It's actually more on the sweet end. You got that malty, like that barley kind of influence, you know. It's not really hoppy or anything like a, a craft beer, like a juicy, something like that. No, this is your typical lager style of beers, guys. I mean, if you like your standard Aussie beers, then I'm sure you wouldn't mind this one. Yeah, what can I say about it? It's just easy drinking. It's not your craft beer, that's for sure. 
I wonder how much these cost individually. If you know, leave it in the comments. Uh, the head's starting to already kind of go away a bit. But it is more than some other ones that we've tried. Anyways, cheers everyone. Yep, just reminds me of an easy drinking, crisp, refreshing, not too bittery, very short finish kind of beer. But, I mean, for 4.7%, this is class as high strength lager, pretty much, right? It's just your full strength kind of lager. So, there you go. So, if you get used to drinking um, craft beer, which is often higher, then you probably look at this as, this is like light beer. Might even be a bit watery, right? But, if you're used to ordering a beer from the pub, a Carlton, a Tui, something like that, I'm sure this will go down well, guys. Anyways, let me know in the comments if you have tried Hollandia Premium. There you go, 4.7%. Coming out, another product coming out of Pinnacle Drinks, or it's imported by them, but it's actually Bavaria Brewery P.O. Box 15737 7G Leischaut Holland. There you go. And don't drink while you're pregnant. Alrighty then. Oh, I think I'm just going to smash this down. But, have a good night everyone. I guess this is just the first beer of the evening. How responsible of me. You know. Yeah, it's just really nothing offensive. Nothing really jumps out too much. It's not even really that bitter. But it's a short finish. And it is going flat by the minute. Carbonation has definitely slowed down. It's just hanging on there. But anyways, it's not bad, guys. It's not bad. I mean, other, I wouldn't even go grab one otherwise. You know, if you see this out... Would you grab one? See, this is what I mean. Even though maybe this is a collection of all the cheap budget beers of the world. Who knows? Presented in a fancy packet, I might say. But I still say it could make a great gift. You know, think about it. You get to try different beers that you'd normally probably never buy. There you go. So whoever knows someone who likes beers and likes to try different things maybe this will make a great gift for christmas christmas is coming anyway guys drink responsibly and uh i'll catch you all next time guys cheers everyone now i'm just curious is heineken similar to this we're gonna have to do a comparison in the future Anyways, have a good night all. You are all loved and appreciated. And um, I'll catch you all next time. Cheers all.